Ada is the one for me. See you next week. Bye bye. Goodbye. Human trafficking is the third largest illegal business in the world. As many as 71% of those trafficked are actually used for prostitution. Hmm. This is the gender chat show. I am Adeza Wankwo. And I am Olumide Uyimbukuri. And together we will be discussing this very sensitive topic, human trafficking. A whole lot of them are used for prostitution. Some are taken against their will. Some are taken and promised greener pasture over the... Um, you know, we like to travel abroad. We like to feel like we've been to. But you go there without even knowing why you're going. Yeah. It's interesting to know that even parents encourage their daughters to go without knowing what ordeal they will you, face there. You know, and I read some time ago that these are uh, human trafficking both internally, happens both internally and externally. Yeah, exactly. And the number is quite numerous. That means they've lost count of the number of people that are trafficked. Every because we don't year. have people document these things. Mm. We even have kids that are trafficked out of their region. Even for Isuru, we wouldn't have heard about this, uh, this case. And come to think of it, how many of these parents are reporting such cases? Some are too afraid to talk because they feel um, if, it's, if you're fighting against a certain kind of people organization. or organization mm. or kingpin, Pins. you will be dealt okay, with. Mm -hmm. All with these are much more. What we'll be talking about today on human trafficking is to gender chat. So let's go on the break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is the Gender Chat Show, and we're discussing human trafficking. With me today is Mr. Lade. Mr. Lade is joining us again on the show. Welcome. Good to have you here. And we also have with us Mr. Sunday James, also known as Flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Sunday? <laughs> yeah, it's right to, to do that uh, when you're on this type of platform. I, I think it's, uh, I'm happy to be here and then to be part of the show. I, I, I think you just introduced my name. I'm still Sunday James and I'm Flesh. And then um, a manager to an artist. Artist management is, uh, is, is, is you being involved in, in making sure that you, you realize you, you, you make your artist mm -hmm to be where he should be in the future. And then um, in Nigeria, you see uh, a, lot of art, a, a lot of managers to artists, mm. they are not really coming to the front of cameras to really to encourage other people and then to put some uh, ideas or words to an artist that can take him uh, where he should be. Mm. Do you understand? So what I do is, uh, you know, I, I always rub minds with my artist to, to make sure he gets the skills that he needs and then to move on. Thank you. That's quite oh, nice. That's, that's, yeah. interesting. that's quite that an interesting one. Yeah. Interesting. For those who've never seen Mr. Lade before, he's a teacher, a pastor, and he's, he's also into pest, pest control. control. Welcome again. It's really nice good to have, have you on the show again. Yeah. Pleasure. Oh, okay. Human trafficking. Okay. I want to look at the part of internally, the one done, done internally. internally. We have a whole lot of children. I'm very particular about children mm. and women that are trafficked away from their homes to become prostitutes or used as child labor. They send some of them to actually go back in some part of the country. So let's look at it. How is this affecting the society? Thank you very much. And when it comes to trafficking, human trafficking, whether it's child trafficking or women, women or male. It involves mm. the children of male course. female. There are, <laughs> there are certain things when you talk about human trafficking. Mm. There are certain terminologies. Mm. Those are the UNODC definition of human trafficking. Human trafficking. There are certain key elements mm. for you to, for you to uh, call something human trafficking. human trafficking. Yeah. There are certain it's things correct. involved. Number one, there is a receipt 
of the human. Mm. Somebody is receiving mm -hmm. that person mm -hmm. at the yeah. other end. Oh, yeah, from the other end. Somebody is transferring. Yeah. Somebody is transporting. Yeah. Somebody is uh, abducting. Yeah. Somebody is coercing. Mm -hmm. Somebody is deceiving. True. Mm -hmm. You know, those elements have to be in place for you to say something is actually mm -hmm. human trafficking. trafficking. Yes. So if those elements are not there, you cannot refer to it as human trafficking. Because human trafficking is different from human smuggling. Mm. Mm. Interesting. In case of human smuggling, somebody on his or her own decides that he wants to go to another country, another region, region. because of greener pastures. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And he actually pays somebody else to, to smuggle, smuggle or down convey him down so, there. Mm, yeah. So when we talk about human trafficking, those elements have to be there. And of course, somebody that is or a child has been either forcefully adopted, adopted, adopted kidnapped, or has been deceived. In case of women, young ladies, mm. that have been, oh. their, their parents have been deceived. They have been deceived that ah, they have better life in Italy, for example. Yes. Mm. Yes. How did you come job with us? Here. They, they, they job, job here offers and all that. It's greener mm. here. And they get there and they force them into prostitution. Mm. Such a lady is in distraught condition. Mm -hmm. When the parents finally find out what their child is actually doing over there, they are in a terrible mess. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it affects the family emotionally. It affects, once it affects the family, it affects the society. So however we want to look at it, human trafficking affects every person involved. Then even as a society at large, what kind Humanity. Are we breeding? Are we breeding? Are we breeding? Yeah. When people, for the sake of money, sell fellow human beings like them. Yeah. For crying out loud, we are not back in the age of. We have people forcefully grab people from their families and force yeah. them to yeah. take them away. Yeah. The human activities. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. However, we want to look at it, it's a pathetic situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not supposed to be condoned by any society. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sunday James. Yes. Uh, how much is the government doing to curtail this uh, activity, this nefarious activities? Don't you think the government should come in into it fully? With nap tape uh, with, and with, the rest. How much uh, I mean, is? <laughs> how much? <laughs> how much? How much? Custom agency, the immigration. Okay. Transportation from one location to the other. Are people not seeing that at all? Immigration officers. Yes. I think um, the issue of human trafficking is a global issue. Mm. And then as a Nigerian, I should talk about my country. What yeah. are they really doing? Yeah. Just like you asked me. Mm. And then I'll, I would say they are not really doing anything mm -hmm. about, you, about it. Because, you know, educationally wise, they should be in, introducing security uh, courses to yeah. our young ones. Mm. You know, just like uh, when, we are, when we are young, uh, our mom used to tell us that, listen, if you, if you walk down the street, you know, don't, don't, when you see a stranger you, don't, you don't talk to them anyhow. You see, somehow it's a security ideology, a uh, kind of, but then, yeah, yes. So I think even in the tender age, they should be able to introduce some courses in schools mm. that, you know, security is life. <laughs> We, we just feel we should be ignorant of it, if not because maybe a challenge is coming up. Mm -hmm. Then we begin to see, okay, what do we do? And then how do we study it to, 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 to cover up the lapses yeah. and all that? Do you understand? But I just feel more should be done in the country mm -hmm. by then. In educationally uh, sector, I'm talking about yes. education, education uh, sector, yes. that they should be, be able to introduce security courses even from primary, secondary, tertiary institutions, mm -hmm. you know, you, they should, students should touch a little bit from yeah. it because that would, that would somewhere. Do you understand? That's what I feel. But uh, my government are not really doing anything about it. And then uh, sometimes I think about it and then I feel I should be there to be able to do it. Mm. But when the time comes and you're opportune, maybe a right full people are opportune. They should be able to introduce that to our schools. I think security education should education. It's, 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 it's very should be important. it's very important yeah. because you know some of the victims, some of the victims 
well, if you if you if you if you look out the victims, uh, they are mostly, they, mostly yeah. the victims are people who are not really educated. educated uh, you know, yeah, they are not really enlightened kind of. So that's really a, a problem to our our country and then the globe. And, Thank, 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 thank you. you. Mm. 71% wow. of those that are trafficked are actually used as sex slaves. slaves. Yeah. And um, they use them for pornography. They use them as, um, Child sex. as um, prostitutes and all that. Do you think our love for pornography Addiction to pornography, pornography is encouraging all this. Yeah, child pornography, pornography. It's, it's a thing becoming, now. It's becoming a real It's now. a huge it's thing a now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks. Thank you once again for that question. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a sad story. <laughs> we are living in a depraved world. <laughs> depraved. Yeah. And the issues that we have in the world is basically mind problems. Mm. Where people have very terrible minds. They do all yeah. sorts of, sort of things. I was asked by someone one time, and I told the person, I said, one of the very root causes of the problem in the world is what I refer to as knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. you know, in the Bible, <laughs> Adam and Eve, you know, God told them if you eat of the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, said, you surely die. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they, they were tempted. In fact, it was he that was tempted. Mm -hmm. And they ate of it. And the Bible called that tree the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. evil. Well, before then, they had the knowledge of God. Absolutely God kind of knowledge. They related with God as free as they could. In fact, every cool of the day, God would come into the garden to discuss with them face to face. Mm. But they rather they were tempted to go for knowledge of good and evil. Thinking. It was better. something that was better, better. or they were more missing profitable. something. Mm. Mm. But not knowing that they had everything with the knowledge of God. Mm. So knowledge of good and evil, this is the way it operates. Mm. You expose yourself to all in name of, ah, let me experience the other side. Other side. Somewhere that said, let me watch, like before I got born again, I used to watch a lot of X-rated movies. I was so addicted to it. As in, I used to play scenes in my mind on my own. Mm -hmm. Create movies on, on my mind. <laughs> Let's go. This short break very quickly. We'll go right back. We'll come back to you. Yeah. Stay tuned, please. Welcome back. It's to the Gender Chat Show and we are discussing human trafficking. If you're just joining us, you've not missed much. Um, Mr. Lode, you were talking about uh, people watching the treated movies. It's I the mean, addiction, the privity, this, this century. It's encouraging pornography and it's encouraging uh, human trafficking and all that. So, share. What can we do to prevent this? Like I said, when your mind is in the gutter, you don't expect anything clean to come out of it. You only expect <laughs> depravity. Mm. Yeah. When you engage in pornography, you get so entrenched that you need to picture in your mind, in your sleep, you are dreaming of all sorts of nonsense. Mm. Even when you are awake, you are envisioning different kinds of stuff. And by the time you know it, you are not just dealing with physical things. There are physical, spiritual forces, demonic forces that are in operation, working on you. You think you are in control, but you are not. Mm. And you get so depraved that you get to actually get involved in some nefarious acts, mm. like rape and all sorts. Yeah. There have been, if you read the dailies these days, you see child rape and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so it's so because people are in the gutter. They've been thinking and watching all sorts of nonsense. Mm. And that's a ripple effect. Mm. Yeah. And when that happens, it's an insane. Just like when the other, the other day, I was watching one of your programs, and there was a guest, an MC, you know, that talked about uh, the fact that people seize opportunity oh. in solving problems. Problem. Mm -hmm. They make money from it. So the same thing is an incentive for these uh, child molesters and child uh, pornography industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard a figure the other time that more than seven to nine million. Yeah. U.S. dollars in 2004 it was stated that more than between seven and nine million U.S. dollars 
was uh, realizing this human trafficking. Yeah. Largest yeah. actually yeah. illegal yeah. business in the, world. Yeah. in the world. So people are profiting. Racketeering. From it. So, so it's an incentive industry for people that are involved in such. Mm. So once they see that, wow, some people are feeding on pornography, let's give them more. Mm. Yeah. Let's actually bring children for them to have sex with and they pay. Mm. They mm. say the fresher, the better. Mm. Oh. Sad. Mm. It's very sad. But how yeah. can we reduce this? Because I don't believe. <laughs> we are dealing with human beings. Prevention wow. is not possible. Pre prevention is possible. You can prevent. Yes. Like he mentioned something that is very important education. Yeah. I call it sensitization. Oh. We need to continually do it. Mm -hmm. Even in Nigeria, they've been trying a bit. But it's not an easy concerted effort of different nations. Mm. In fact, there are some international treaties over the years, more than 12 of them that have been, you know done by different different organizations, mm -hmm. all gender towards curtailing, curbing, punishing oh. all these offenders. Yeah. Mm. So even the Nigerian government, they are also part of it. Mm. So oh. many things going on. Oh. So we keep sensitizing, like security consciousness. Yeah. Like we have a lot of videos, uh, own videos made by different individuals abroad on education. You know, yeah. while we're young, we used to watch Sesame Street, about don't talk to strangers, mm -hmm. blah, 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 like that. that makes you security conscious, even as a child. True. And don't just allow anybody. Yeah, even now that we have um, child molesters, mm -hmm. you talk out to your girl child, mm -hmm. sensitize them. Don't allow when an uncle is touching your yeah. or touching your yeah. mom. You raise alarm. Yes. Like call someone. Sensitization. Mm. Sure. We need yeah. to keep doing that. Mm. Even at that over and over. Age. 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 That, that mm. age. We need to keep doing that. For our parents, we need to keep sensitizing our parents. It's so. always good to have you, Mr. Aladdin. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on the show. Yes. Let's go to our view and find out uh. what they think about today's topic. Don't mm. go anywhere, we'll be right back. This country is good but we don't have good leader, leaders everybody want to want in children to become a somebody in life but many graduates are outside now they don't have job and say they want to leave but the implication people doesn't think about it everybody wants the children to travel out but they will not tell them what is there. What I want to say, to cut the story short, our leaders should try and do something. Because the graduates want to leave. But our leaders, they don't ready to do anything. Child trafficking, I think, um, I think is, um, I think is against the law. Anyway, okay. um, it's, um, it's a very big crime against humanity. All right, um, one shouldn't be thinking of indulging in so stuff like that. It's very, very bad. It's very, very bad in essence. That, um, you can even um, link it. Um, you can even link it way back, you know, in the ancient days, you know, when people, you know, buy slaves and all that. But now I think it has gone, you know, it has gone to another level now. We have people, you know, kind of, um, uh, okay, this, this child, uh, you go coming to Europe or America exactly. to do one or two things and all that. When she gets there and you see another thing and another thing and another thing. So it's very, very unfortunate that people do do that. Uh, from government, if the government can make what the woman need for a living available for the woman, I think maybe um, it can be reduced. But I don't think it can be, uh, they can eradicate it finally. Welcome back, viewers. This is still the gender chat show. And that is it. That was quite an interesting. Yeah, really exciting. Uh, 
exciting to get to wow. here and quite interesting to know that some of us are actually participating in us actually feel we are too busy so we go to the village, the village to bring our bring nieces and nephews and the rest this, to this mm. and then there is a place of awareness mm. how much are we doing to educate others on the need to know oh. yeah because if you feel the the, uh, there's the song, the, the grass is always greener on the other side. Yes, <laughs> it's not you, always greener until the you, get you get there. You Our see, want for money <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and a whole lot of young ladies. There are things they could do here. There are businesses they could learn. There are it's handwork clean. they could learn. There are uh, you know what? Before we start uh, raising the, the axe, on the government, I think the people too. The we too. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we, we, doing? Doing? Are we knowledgeable and enough? Then in secondary school, because do we talk to young girls? Yes. Yeah. It's you, me, me everybody. everybody are there. It's not enough for us to put the blame on the, on government. the government. We are all part of it. It's yeah. it's, We're it's all our in it system. Hmm. <laughs> Quite interesting. I hope you had so much fun being there. I we did. are happy to have you. Please feel free to join us, St. Times Station. I've been your host, Adezo. And I am Olumide Winyibokure. Goodbye. Bye bye.